Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to God of War where we are still hunting I say hunting we're searching for this uh mystery creature that Atreus heard Right. So. Best guess is the creature guy that was searching for is up here. Just in pain. It's trying to sing. It's the song of the sands. They don't normally sing like this underground. Is that what's causing the storm? Aye. Yeah. Judging by all this hive matter weighing it down, it's been trapped here for dozens of winters. Don't worry. We'll get you out. What is that name? Well, the last good thing we saw was Wiener, so... Oh, boy. Well, I appreciate the attempt at humor. That little brother is truly awful wordplay. Embarrassing, really. Oh, well, can't all be winners. There's gotta be a way to clear those rocks. Get a better angle. Like it can move now, but it's still You're free. It out. Much of the hive matter is gone. We can free it from the surface now. Why did they trap it down here? Hafkafas are known to burrow, so I'd hesitate to place full blame on our dark elf friends. But it's trapped in their hive stuff. Hive matter doesn't belong to the dark elves. Any yeah, more than the light belongs it. to the light elves. It's just another of Alfheim's natural resources. One the elves have used since the time of their ancestors. And while the light elves seem keen to banish the hive over on their side, the dark elves make effective use of it out here in the barrens. So, by clearing out all of this hive, are we hurting dark elves? You wish to leave the creature enslaved? No. Then let us free it. What we got here then? Oh, whispering slabs. And, oh, we can free it on the surface. It's like, okay. Show me the way.
Ah. This is the spot. We can cut the half Koopa loose here. We'll finally earn some goodwill from our dark elf friends after all. Look, Father, thanks for bringing us out here, but you don't have to do this kind of stuff just to keep my mind off Ragnarok, you know? This was not a distraction. No? Then why are we really out here? Have you ever considered? He just wants to spend time with you, lad. While he still can. Really? We do not know what lies ahead. But if Ragnarok approaches, I wish to enjoy the time we have left. Aww. I... I don't know what to say. Thank you... for bringing us out here. I'm glad we did this. As am I. That's sweet. Now the sand's gone. Now the storm's gone. <laughs> There's Head something I'm not sure I quite understand. In the Ragnarok prophecy Odin knows, all the realms get destroyed, including Asgard. In the version Groa kept secret, Asgard still falls. Wouldn't Odin have tried to prevent it either way? What difference did her lie really make? Enough. We will continue later. I guess I, now I know what's up on that platform. Magma pit. Hmm. Yeah, try alcohol. Brother, I had a thought. What if we took a stealthy approach to our next battle? No. <laughs> no. Fair enough. Now, right, what have we here? I'm hoping in here. Ah, I see something glowing over there. Sort of a harp. I can play beautifully, you know. I do not. And would prefer it remain that way. Ah, hang on. There we go. Gold chest. Damn, I 
was hoping for some, um, what are they called? Raid fragments. Atreus, I've been considering your question about whether Groa's deception made a difference. I think of it this way. When it comes to subverting prophecy, knowledge is power. Without the full picture and context, the finer details can lead you to tragically incorrect interpretations. Back in my homeland, I was privy to the operations of a certain coven of researchers who were keen on destabilizing the government. They picked an influential thane, an otherwise loyal man, and fed him a story of his own ascension to king. They dressed it up in enough details they knew would come to pass, so when they did, the Thane took it as confirmation. Huh. Next thing you know, he's helping matters along. He murders his king, sleeping under his own roof. Murders many he once called friends, too, thinking them fated to oppose him. Then, for a finishing touch, the witches revisit this usurper. With just a few details structured ever so misleadingly, they convinced the fool he was invulnerable to all threats. Physical, Physical or magical. magical. Aye, aye. But twas not so for him. All turned into a rather magnificent bloodbath as they go. The Thane ends up without his head and a name so cursed, none dare speak it. All thanks to a subtly deceptive prophecy. What was his name? You really gotta write these stories down one day, Mimir. Well, I try. Jaw tends to get sore, but thank you, lad. Find out what those tombstones are. Come on, brother. Let's have it. You mentioned you had a favorite oh. from your homeland. What was it about? A cunning general. A war over forbidden love. I believe I've heard of this one. Did it involve a horse that was not as it appeared? Yes. But that is not what happened. Oh, it's based on truth then. And you were there. Yes. I prefer the poem. The Trojan horse. I would have thought the Trojan horse would have been long after ancient Greece. Would it be? About that time. Looks like a lot of the sand is cleared up. But there's another storm out that way. I think that means. Another half goofa! more about myself hmm. all right how are we doing yeah it's just a driver all that's left but... I mean I'll give it one more try if it kills me we will continue on Oh, 
bloody drop. It's bad! You're on fire, big noise. Old man. here in a moment. Amir, a little while ago you mentioned Odin's Raven. What's to stop him from using them to pop into existence and kidnap anybody he wants? Consent. The only way to travel by Odin's Ravens is by your own choice. Oh, it's not so bad then. Crystal work and those elven gifts you found. There we go. I'll be happy to pay you for it. Yeah. This will be of use. Surprised to see you out here, Sindri. You must hate the sand. Oh, it is the worst. But with Brock banned from Alfheim, it's up to me to keep you ship shape and sharp. <laughs> so why is Brock banned from Alfheim? Oh, that's um, I don't know if well. Do you know what a juicy nokin is? No. Well, thanks to Brock, the elves sure do. Uh, oh dear. What is a juicy? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> you will not tell How him. Can I help? Ooh. Yeah, craft another resurrection stone. So all of this gear can be upgraded to max. Interesting. Huh. That might be my best piece yet today. Let's check that it doesn't have any that need crafting. Right. 
quite the archaeologist, haven't you? Upgrade that. That's it. Niflheim quickly, because I've got a feeling, and we can open it up the gas. Samir, you said souls come in four parts. Does that mean you can lose some of your soul, but not all of it? Aye. Form, mind, direction, and luck. Lose any one of them, and the entire being suffers. Still, sometimes luck alone is enough. Just ask your father. My success does not come from luck. Ah, the refrain of the eternally lucky. He's not wrong. Ah, okay. So there isn't a raven here. I saw eyes of Odin. I thought, oh, that must mean there's a raven. But like, nope. Father of all, oh. strong from the tree. Wisdom gained father, servitude gained we. Swung from the tree. What do you suppose that means? Odin hung himself from Yggdrasil to gain knowledge. In life we hanged, in death we kneeled, until you freed us with your steel. So destroying the ravens free their spirits somehow. Good to know. Free? Well, free of Odin's control anyway. I managed to get some gauntlets at least. Expanded my wares. If you got the raw materials to make them, sure, I'm open. Ugh. Right. No, I ain't got enough. What? I ain't got anywhere near enough hack to build up. Tears had enough time to find its equilibrium, or whatever. Indeed. I saw flashes of the old god of war in them, but they were fleeting. There is nothing wrong with opposing war, nor opposing prophecy. I suppose that's fair. Never can be quite sure what the giants meant by any of it. Am I the only one that remembers they predicted our entire journey to Jotunheim? If the giants saw Tyr leading armies at Ragnarok, then I believe them. The question is, how you'll ever make Tyr believe it. Mm. So, this whole spectral squirrel business, you can shoot out your feelings into little ghosties. I suppose that is a slightly inelegant way of putting it. 
These spectral versions of myself are aspects of my personality that I often find distracting at best. My ability not only lets me cast them away and provide some temporary peace of mind, it also allows me to see what goes on outside the tree. Why not just go look yourself? As the eternal caretaker of the tree, I may not leave its confines, all part of the deal, but worth it for the immortality and such. My spectral forms still allow me to see the outside world, albeit through slightly colorful viewpoints. That's one word for it. That bitter form of yours is a nasty piece of work. I'm standing right here, you know that <sighs> I'd apologize for him, but where would it end? Until our next encounter, then. <laughs> we don't help you. Bugger up. All right, let's see if Tears in here. There he is. Uh, glad to see you back, young one. Come help me, won't you? Oh, sure. We can eat whatever you like, Kratos. The stew will only improve with time. Glad you're in a better mood. Yes. I was a little overwhelmed. Forgive me. It's funny. Nothing seems to settle my mind quite like cooking. Being locked up for so long, you forget how much joy there is. Eat. Oh, careful, careful. Thank you. What's up with Brock? Enjoy. Enjoy, my friends. Yeah. We'll see about that. Here you are. A meal fit for a champion. Enough. Uh. I said we would speak no more of that. Yes, of course. No. Didn't mean to offend. Uh, I'm not offended. It's just a word. The word didn't cloud your judgment. So, you really don't think it means anything? After the journey Mom sent us on? Everything we saw in Jotunheim? What was it all for? Don't you ever think about that? Every day. But I cannot believe her purpose was to inspire you to take foolish risks. But what if the giants are counting on me? What giants? I am counting on you. To be safe. To be smart. But to use the judgment of a man and not of a child. But what if Loki going to Ironwood is the only way that you... Oh, Atreus. My son. I'm not hungry anymore. <laughs> Forgive me, Kratos. My words were chosen carelessly. <laughs> you really should eat. Some people swear by it. On almost a daily basis. I just don't understand. Why is there all this stuff about Loki and, and the champion and Ironwood if none of it's real? He's just so... Mind if I give you the best advice you've heard all day, and possibly ever? Sleep. That's when all the troubles of your mind work themselves out. Sure. Fine. Sleep? Sounds great. I mean it. He's become an arrogant little cunt, isn't he? Already. already gone.
the hell's with the bowl? Okay. What are I wish I had known I was a god in Alpha. I wouldn't have felt so bad about killing so many elves. What's going on? Is that a mask? I mean, just knowing we're gods makes me feel so much stronger. Where am I? People's little We're problems. sick of hearing about little people's little problems. Oh, memories and not nice ones. You broke the gate. That was our only way to you, Nan. What do you want? Let's go, Zuma. I don't understand. Whatever. 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 Hey, don't run off. Whatever. Can you tell me whatever. where I am? Whatever. 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 Um. Whatever. 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 Will you stop? <sighs> I gotta get out of here. He should pay for what he said about mother. Oh. But we're God. We oh. can do whatever this. we want. Please, please wait. Please. Oh. Much better knife than mother's. Please stop. What the hell? Seems friendly. Hey, where are you going? <coughs> Follow you? Okay. Guess I'll see you around the other side. Can you understand me? Where are you taking me, buddy? Oh. Oh, you got a friend. Hi there. So, where are we going? <laughs> got it. I was having the weirdest dream and just kind of woke up here. Is this Ironwood? 
Any idea how I got here? Mm. I dreamt my way here. <laughs> I mean, suppose I must have. I'm here. <laughs> scent? What scent? Oh, that might be Fenrir you're smelling. Wish you were here to meet you. Oh. <laughs> There's a lot of you, huh? What's that smell? The air here, it's... I don't know. Sweeter? Maybe it's these trees. That's a lot of wolves. You right there! <laughs> you tell me if you were gonna eat me. <laughs> That's a joke, right? <laughs> I've never seen a forest like this before. It's pretty much all fungal growth. It's next to no trees. Through here? I'm not finished with it yet. <laughs> the pain is made from the bark of the ironweed trees. They absorb the memories of the forest so that the paint remembers too. Memories of the past. Of the future. I'd hate to get blood on it. Oh, it's really you. Uh, you know who I am? What's wrong? I've been. Waiting my whole life for this moment. Oh. Huh. You look weirder than I imagined. Oh. Rude. Sorry. Um. Was that mean? Kind of. Damn it. I'm already messing this up. <laughs> it's just you're the first person that I've talked to in a very long time. And weird can be good. Uh huh. Let's start over. I'm Angraboda. You must have a lot of questions. Uh, yeah. Where Follow are me. We? You'll get your answers soon enough. <laughs> well, some of them. When you said you knew me? Like I said, you'll get your answers soon enough. R right. Is that not your name? Oh, no. I'll, uh, take my own path. So, where am I exactly? 
I was in this weird fog. Oh, I've heard the Utengard can be disorienting. Still, you're safe here in the Ironwood. Maybe it was part of his giant you know, genealogy. So, I thought Ironwood wasn't a real place. Clever, right? Odin won't go searching for the forest of the giants if he doesn't think it exists. The forest of the giants. That's what some That's people clever. call it. Or called it. What's that? A brooch. It's big. Compared to? I thought giants weren't all supposed to be... giant. Oh, no, some of them are. So, what do you do here? Paint, forage, survive, preserve what I can. But why wait for me? Because my destiny is to tell you yours. Huh. Woo! Watch out! out! Surviving Fimble Winter. Wait, is that a thing around here? Did you know about it? I did. Did? I'll be up above you, but keep going the way you're going. Loot, glorious loot. Is that chainmail? Yeah. I wonder what brought them Cindy with them. Who? Oh, they're kind of like uncles. Kind of? <laughs> you think our giants are strange? They're dwarves, actually. Still strange. Can't believe there are nightmares here, too. My father. You know what? Never mind. Great! I met another living giant. Maybe one who holds my destiny. What? Uh, sorry. I'm just really excited to talk to you. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Smooth, Atreus. Smooth. Everything's okay, right? Yeah, I'm just in a magical force that shouldn't exist. 
talking to another giant, and she's... <sighs> yeah. Get off of I'm still getting the hang of things here. <laughs> Where are we going? My mother recorded her visions, or prophecies. Thought you might like to see them. Ah. Where are your parents? They're not around. Are they? Hey, I know you have a lot of questions, but not this. Okay. I'm sorry. <gasps> I'm so obsessed with him being the champion. Help me with this? Oh, sure. Cheating. It's not kind of like cheating, it is cheating. I've seen these before. Well, then you should know how to beat them. It's usually not so lively around here. Guess I'm just lucky. Nah, you're just lucky. <laughs> uh. So rudely interrupted, I was going to grab that. Rome of the Mind Shrines, where she chronicled Groa's visions. It was her way of ensuring the legacy of her people would live on, despite the Aesir's best efforts. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, you'll see plenty more button clamps today. I hope so. Here. Where do you think they learned it from? Here we are. Ah, here we go. Do you live here? Mm-hmm. This way. Wait, is this my shrine? I've been wanting to see it again. For 
for many giants, there is beauty in learning your path and walking it. Ready? Of course. Yeah. Others see the future and get messed up by it. I've seen this before, where we scattered Mother's ashes. It was on the wall. Everything had happened already. Yeah. Just the way it said. But this part was damaged. Oh, that's us. It's in the bag. Huh. Wonder who he is. Wait. There's four. No, no, it's not right. That can't be what happened. No, 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 this isn't real. Ironwood's not real, the Utengar's not real. None of this is real. Ah! Hey, hey. Whoa, whoa, you're okay. It's okay. You're fine. I'm sorry. I don't know what happened. Oh, don't worry about it. It happens to everyone. That happens to um. Not the wolf part, but getting scared about your future. That cannot be my future. It says I serve Odin and my father dies. There's just no way. Look, this is the only way things turn out. The sooner you accept that, the better. Oh, shit. That was noon too. Forget about that now. Forget the future. Forget Loki. You're a giant. And you're clearly coming into some powers that you don't understand yet. Come on, let's take a walk. You can help me with something and I'll teach you. You know, giant stuff. Ah, uh, poor Trias. Yeah, there's no way he'd willingly side with Odin. No way in hell. Loki, I need your help with this. What's this? Here, follow me. Where are we going? We're gonna get some food, plant some seeds, my everyday stuff. But first, I want you to meet someone. Loki, meet Yala. Hi, Yala. Uh, nice to meet you. That's a big yak. Wow. She, she's a big girl, huh? Come on up. 
Good girl. Ganga. So, um, I guess you know about the whole champion of the... Yotnar? Yeah. Do you want me to call you that instead? No. Loki's good. Sure. Jam. <laughs> <laughs> So, where did you say we were going? We need to collect some fruit. If we follow the river, we should find some. Those flowers over there. Silence. I... okay. <laughs> no, that's what they're called. They only grow in Jotunheim. My mother and I used to take naps in them when my grandma and her fought. It was one of the only places she found peace. There's a plant there is alive. <laughs> this is a giant mouth. Aha! Here's one. Let's grab it. Who's it for? Wolves gotta eat, don't they? Never seen fruit like this before. They're called green bulbs. My mother made me eat one every day. For strength, they taste terrible. Seems like they work, though. Excuse me? It sounds like she likes you. Yeah, sure. Could you grab that one? Got it. Those wolves. You take care of them? I do. They're good friends. Can't wait to meet more of them. Right. Uh, I can't see, I really can't see Atreus actually working with Odin. I really can't. So, uh, yeah, anyway, I'm going to have to end this episode here, guys. So thank you for watching. Leave a like if you've enjoyed the video and subscribe if you want to see more content like it. As always, there'll be a link to the full playlist in the description. And I hope to see you next time. Adios.